Hello. Today's update is on the V19.2 um, fluids highlights. So ANSYS have been busy yet again in this area and we've got a lot to get through. So let's get started. No doubt, uh, in my mind, one of the key developments has been a new task-based workflow for fluent meshing. And with that, the release of a new meshing technology. So what are these two about? The idea that we're having here at ANSYS is that um, we want to be able to bring a geometry from CAD through, say, space claim, do a bit of cleaning, but then have a very automated and repeatable process for doing simulations. So first task, get a high quality surface mesh. Then here, for example, we want to do a fluid simulation, but the metal has been meshed. So we can put caps on, extract the fluid region, create a high quality volume mesh. Without writing that mesh, we can step through straight into setup and solve, get some results, post-process them. And so this has all been done in one common workflow here. And as the developments proceed, this is going to become very easy to script and to repeat. So this is um, a little more on the simplified meshing workflow. Basically, um, when you go into fluent meshing, you've got this ability to choose now a number of different um, options here. The, the current one that we're talking about is watertight geometry. So basically, we've got a piece of CAD with no holes in it, and we want to work down and create a volume mesh. You can see this is very reminiscent of what you'd see in Workbench, where you start doing tasks, and once those tasks are up to date, you get a green tick. And as you follow down and do various things, you will find that this uh, workflow can change. So for example, we need to describe our geometry. We choose some radio, bu radio buttons here to tell it about whether the geometry's got voids or whether it's got solids or fluids. Um, whether we need to put caps on. As soon as we do some of these options, choose some of these options, we'll get extra or fewer things appear in the subsequent tree and it will walk us through them in the order they need to be done. At any point, you can jump into the full power of fluent meshing, but generally that's not needed. And this is a very, very simple procedure which produces incredibly high quality mesh. So it's streamlined. Um, coming at at the next release is, is a template for dealing with dirty geometry where you've got to wrap the geometry before you can mesh it. Obviously what this allows us to do is embed best practices to um, users can go in and modify a workflow and store it and create your own customized workflows and you're going to be able to record and replay workflows making it um, a robust method to deal with upstream changes. The second item is to talk about Mosaic, which is a new meshing technology. This is, um, allows the connection of high quality inflation mesh to hex core meshing. So I think that's best described in the next slide where we can have a look at what the task is. So the yellow area is the high quality inflation around the, the body. The Fluid region has been filled with a hex core mesh, and this can have many advantages, particularly uh, in terms of cell count, in terms of having nice uniform cells in regions where you want to use scale resolving models, etc. But clearly, those have to be fitted together, and it's no straightforward task. Well, that's where Mosaic comes in because it will fit together those two meshes using a polyhedra and it can make high quality polyhedra there. And so what is the end result of that? The end result is that we had originally a mesh that was tets here or polyhedra. So it could have been tets create, uh, converted to polyhedra. Now we've got a mesh here with the new technology. You can see we've got very similar results. We've used 35% less memory, 90% faster, and we've got a much higher quality mesh. So this is a typical application um, which is showing um, how the benefits of this 
can can be uh, had 